Assalamu alaikum students. How are you doing? So I hope you are doing well. So students, uh, this is going to be another lecture on uh, the series of ongoing lectures for the students of class 7 and in this lecture I am going to cover uh, the problems that uh, concerns pipes and cisterns from exercise 2.3 of your textbook. So without further delay, uh, let's get started. So before starting, we first uh, get used to some uh, formulas. The formulas that I have actually already introduced to you in my previous lecture. So let us see those uh, formulas again. So general rules and first uh, before we get to know the rules we first uh, need to understand that two terms inlet and outlet. Well an inlet uh, is actually a pipe which fills the tank uh, up in is called an inlet and outlet and the pipe which empties the tank is called an outlet. Okay so now let us see our formulas for this whole lecture. Suppose a pipe fills a tank in n hours and that means the part filled of uh, part filled by the tank in uh, by the pipe in one hour is one over n that is work done by the inlet is actually in one hour is one over n well uh, there is nothing new in this slide as i have already uh, introduced to you these type of formulas in our previous lecture those of you who did not see that uh, previous lecture i mean by lecture 7 you please see those lectures from our college website. So, without further delay, let us slide. Okay. So, the f there is uh, actually a problem. A tap A can fill a cistern in 8 hours while tap B can fill it in 4 hours. That means the capability of tap A is uh, to fill the tank is for 8 hours and for tank B, uh, tap B is, it is for 4 hours. That means the tap B is more powerful than tap A, right? So, in how much time will the cistern be filled if both A and B are open together? Well, this problem is actually identical to the previous problems I have solved in my previous lecture. Please see that lecture if you did not see it by now. So, let us see that uh, time taken by tap A to fill the cistern is 8 hours. That means for 8 hours it fills the cistern. That means for 1 hour it actually fills 1 divided by 8 part of the cistern as it is. Work done by tap A in 1 hour is 1 over 8 part. Similarly, the time taken by tap B to fill up the cistern equals 4 hours. That means in 1 hour it can do 1 over 4 part. So, let us add those two. Okay, work done by A plus B in 1 hour is 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 and it's actually 3 over 8, right? 1 over 8 plus 1 over 3, uh, 1 over 4 is actually 3 over 8. Now, as you all know that therefore time taken by A plus B to fill the cistern is uh, just reverse that 3 by 8 to 8 by 3. That means 2 hours and 40 minutes. Those of you who are not understanding, so see that on my on, the, on my right. 3 by 8 part is filled in 1 hour. So, one part or the complete part can be filled by 1 divided by 3 by 8. That means 8 divided by 3 hour. That's why I actually... Uh, write, write it down here directly from 3 by 8 to 8 by 3 if you have in one hour work then you can write it directly without actually doing that right part okay so okay so let us see our next problem in this row problem is I have taken this problem from our textbook chapter 2.3 question number 16 so a cistern has two pipes the first and second pipes can uh, fill the empty cistern in 12 hours and 18 hours respectively that means the first pipe is more powerful because it actually fills the empty cistern in 12 hours uh, and the other actually fills uh, 6 hours late and 12 plus 6 equals to 18 hours right if both the pipes are open together then how much time will be required to fill the empty cistern this is the most simplest math I have ever seen in chapter 2.3 okay Part filled by the first pipe in 1 hour is 1 divided by 12. Part filled by the second pipe in 1 hour is 1 divided by 18. So we must add those two. Part filled by the first and second pipe in 1 hour is 1 over 12 plus 1 over 18 and it is actually 5 over 36 part. And now you all know that you just reverse that 5 over 36 to 36 over 5 to get your desired result as you have your one hour work. Right? Okay, 
so 5 by 36 part of the 6 turn can be filled by a first plus second pipe in one hour that means uh, so one part can be filled in 36 divided by 5 as I have promised you just reverse that 5 by 36 then you do not need to actually uh, uh, proceed with these last two lines so you just delete it just reverse that 5 by 36 to 36 divided by 5 then you are done for one or whole part okay students let us see our next problem okay by the way I hope you understand uh, all of those problems so if you do not understand anything then you can actually write me in the comment section or you can uh, text me by uh, your what's by my whatsapp account and you all uh, know my whatsapp number if you do not have my whatsapp number then collect it from the routine uploaded in our college lecture you will find there my whatsapp number okay okay uh, Okay, a tab A can fill a cistern in 4 hours and the tab B can empty the cistern in 6 hours. Well, this math is a little bit different because in this math we have that red mark empty the full cistern. Like uh, that means there is a pipe that can fill it and there is another pipe that can empty it. So this will be uh, a tricky one. Okay, let us see. Time taken by tap A to fill the cistern is one o oh, is four hours. That means in one hour actually can fill up uh, one fourth portion of the uh, cistern, right? So time taken by tap B to empty the cistern is actually six hours. That means uh, time work done by the tap B in one hour is one divided by six. Now, in in the in, in the question, if both the taps are opened together uh, in the empty cistern, and how much time will the cistern be filled up? Uh, you should know that uh, uh, the the cistern will ultimately be filled up as the power of that tap A that is filling your cistern is more than the power of that uh, uh, that tap B that is emptying your cistern because A can fill it in four and B can fill it in six hours. If if uh, it uh, if if the case was to uh, if A it, A tap can fill it in six hours and B can empty it in four hours then if you connect those two taps with the cistern then it will never be filled up if the power of the uh, I mean if the power of the outlet is more than the power of the inlet then you cannot solve those maths because the tank will never be filled up okay but in this case the power of the inlet is more than the power of the outlet because the inlet can fill it in uh, four hours and the outlet in six hours that means the power of the inlet is greater so the tank will ultimately be filled up okay now Work done by A plus B in one hour is actually 1 divided by 4 minus 1 divided by 6 where I have subtracted 1 by 6 from 1 by 4 as 1 by 6 is emptying not filling but 1 by 4 is adding up or it is filling and 1 by 6 is actually emptying your uh, tank that is why the subtraction is there not add 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 in this case we are going to subtract as this case is for uh, emptying the system okay. So you can actually have 1 divided by 12th part of the tank is filled then and we can easily say that in 12 hours that means we need to reverse 1 by 12 to 12 then we are done. Okay the tank will uh, be fill, will be filled in 12 hours. Those of you who are not understanding you should write uh, like this 1 divided by 12 a part can be filled in 1 hour then 1 part can be filled in 1 divided by 1 by 12 that means it is actually 12 hours. I think there is no problem understanding this problem so without further delay let's get started with our okay there is a, a very beautiful tank I can see over there so there should be a video playing over there okay you can see that there are two tabs A and B okay then A tab is filling your tank and it is filling your tank in 10 hours and now for the tab, tab B, well, it is filling your tank in actually 12 hours. That means the tab A is more powerful than tab B. Okay. Now, if I just uh, put an outlet over there, that means at C point, uh, the tab I may I, I should call that a tab C. Then it is actually emptying in 20 hours. That means C is the weakest in uh, among A, B, and C. C is the weakest. Okay. Now let us see our question. Our question is a cistern can be filled up uh, by two taps A and B in 10 hours and 12 hours respectively. The full cistern can be emptied by the third tab in uh, C in 20 hours. If all the taps are turned on at the same time, in how much time will uh, the empty cistern be filled completely? Okay, let us solve this problem. 
okay time taken uh, by tap a to fill the cistern is 10 hours okay that means in one hour it can fill one by ten portion okay that is is one hour walk is one over ten part so time taken by tap b to fill the cistern is 12 hours so for one hour work is one divided by 12 part but time taken by tap c to empty the full cistern is 20 hours so c is one hour work is uh, similarly one divided by 20 part now if i inject all of them all together i mean if i inject the inlets and the outlet uh, at the same time then the work done in one hour will be a's one hour work plus b's one hour work minus c's one hour work we should subtract c's one hour work as it is emptying not it filling right so a plus b plus c's one hour work is one over ten 1 over 12 and minus 1 divided by 20 you should see that minus sign over there for c tab okay it is 2 divided by 15 let us see if it is 2 divided by 15 or not 1 over 10 1 over 12 minus 1 over 20 it's actually 2 over 15 okay now therefore time taken by a plus b plus c to fill the system just reverse that 2 over 50 to 15 over 2 hours or so what you can do 2 by 50 part is filled in 1 hour so 1 part is filled in 1 divided by 2 by 15 and it is actually 15 divided by 2 or 7 and a half hours okay so i think you you do not have any problem regarding this uh this uh, this math okay so our next problem and the next problem is from your textbook and one of the most important problems in your textbook so keep your utmost attention on this math as this math uh, can hit your exam at any time your subsequent exams and you know your online lectures are very important for your exam as you have seen your uh, first half yearly question Two pipes separately can fill an empty cistern with water in 20 minutes and 30 minutes respectively. The cistern is completely empty and both the pipes are open together to fill the cistern. Okay. First pipe is more powerful. It, it actually fills 20 minutes and that the second one is uh, it takes 30 minutes. So when will the first pipe need to be closed so that the cistern would be completely filled in 18 minutes? This is math number 22 and the most important one okay well keep your utmost attention on this problem because on, on the basis of this problem i am going to show you another problem that is uh, done in your example and you are uh, gonna tell me that if that problem is correct or not which one is correct you should tell me so the brilliance let's get started so the second pipe can fill the cistern in 30 minutes okay so that means so part filled by the second pipe in one minute is one divided by 30 okay that's cool so part filled by the second pipe in 18 minutes is 18 divided by 30 or 3 over 5 because uh, when the in the question that when will the first pipe need to be closed well the first pipe is closed then the second pipe actually uh, so and, the, and then the second pipe, pipe remains and the whole process is for 18 minutes when will the first pipe need to be closed so that the cistern would be completely filled in 18 minutes right so from the beginning to the end the second pipe uh, works for 18 minutes from the beginning to the end it actually does not get stuck okay now for the remaining part that is 1 minus 3 divided by 5 is 2 divided by 5 okay now so for the first pipe the one part is filled in 20 minutes as you can see from the question that the first pipe is more powerful and it actually fills your tank in 20 minutes so one part can be filled in 20 minutes and our remaining part is 2 divided by 5 so 2 divided by 5 part can be filled in uh, 20 into 2 divided by 5 it's actually 8 minutes that means so the first pipe need to be closed after eight minutes so many of you actually thinking that uh, why did i uh, why did our teacher actually requests our utmost attention to this problem well you will see in a minute just uh, okay just just see this okay say for example uh, well, there are one two three four five parts in that uh, column and uh, i have marked three because five divided by three actually you can see that three over five is represented as that one total space is five and i have colored three spaces so three over five can be represented by this one okay 
now that part the colored part is 3 divided by 5 and 3 divided by 5 is filled by the uh, second pipe in 18 minutes and you just uh, keep this in mind your second pipe did not get stuck right your your second pipe was actually active from the beginning to the end so from the beginning to the end it actually fills three by fifth part three fifths part and the remaining two fifth part is filled by the first pipe okay now this is how i solved this problem and remember that picture uh, i want you to write down that picture for the next problem because i'm going to ask a question uh, if there is a flaw or not in the second question and you should uh, please uh, you should uh, uh, give your feedback on that uh, second problem in the comment section i request you to give your feedback okay so whatever your feedback you can give it to me okay let us see this problem well this problem is identical to the previous one but you need to find the flaw in this problem a flaw means mistake two pipes separately can fill an empty tank in 30 minutes and 20 minutes respectively okay the cistern is completely empty and both the pipes are open together to fill the cistern when will the first pipe need to be closed uh, so that the cistern would be completely filled in 18 minutes well i have taken this problem from uh, your ex uh, examples from 2.3 Okay, let us do it as your example suggests. In your book, they did actually by the second pipe in uh, in 20 minutes is fill is one part, and the second pipe actually works for 18 minutes. So for 18 minutes, it is actually 9 divided by 10 part. So now the remaining part is 1 minus 9 divided by 10, or it is 1 divided by 10. Now what they did in that part by the first and second pipe in one minute filling is 1 by 30 plus 1 by 20 is equal to 1 by 12 they did actually 1 by 30 plus 1 by 20 and 1 divided by 12 is actually 1 minute filling by both the pipes and then they did uh, 1 by 12 part uh, for filling of 1 by 12 part time needed is 1 minute so for filling of 1 by 10 as 1 by 10 is the remaining part 1 by 10 part they actually take 1.2 minute and therefore after 1.2 minute the pipe was closed I want to know is there any flaw over there is there any flaw over there you can find that math in 39 page of your book well if there is a flaw i want you to uh, write it down and please send it to me i, I i'm waiting for your feedback on, on this problem only okay now okay uh, the problems for pipes and systems are done well uh, this is a, the, a, actually a homework from your previous lecture i i consider this uh, to be solved in the in, in our class that is why i added this one rohim can do a piece of work in 10 days actually uh while kareem uh, alone can do it in 15 days they together work for five days and the rest of the work is done by abir in three days if they get taka 600 for the whole work how should they divide the money well this actually a, a real life problem suppose you three friends are doing a work and you are uh, you get paid uh, by another one by 600 taka then how uh, you three friends will divide uh, taka 600 among you that is uh, what the problem is telling us this is a more a real problem and it's a nice problem by the way okay Rahim plus Karim's wonder work is uh, 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 50, 15, right? Part or Rahim plus Karim's 5 day work is 5 times 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 15. 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 15 times 5. It is 5 divided by 6 part. Okay. Because they work together for five days. That means uh, Rahim worked for five days, Karim worked for five days and they work together, right? And the rest of the work is done by Abir in three days. Okay, let us first find what is the rest work. Okay, remaining work is 1 minus 5 by 6. It is 1 by 6. And now it is Abir's three day work because Abir did this in three days, right? So Abir's three day work is 1 divided by 6. Now, now they get paid Taka 600. Now the issue is who will take how much? What is Rohim's share? What is Karim's share? And what is Abir's share? So Rohim's five day work and Rohim because Rohim worked for five days. So he will take his money as uh, as a five day uh, working payment and Korim actually worked for five days. So Korim will uh, take his five day payment and Abir actually worked for three days. So he will take his three day payment. That is why. So Rohim's five day work is five divided by 10 as Rohim's one day work is one divided by 10. Korim's one day work is one divided by 15 and five day work is five divided by 15. And 
uh, abits one day uh, abits three day work is one divided by six from the question if you simplify that portion five over 10 5 over 15 1 over 6 then you will get 3 is to 2 is to 1 then if you simplify this further then you can see that Rohim share is 3 divided by 3 plus 2 plus 1 that means 6 times 600 equal to 300 and the remainings are as follows now you uh, there is actually a very good way of checking the answer of this uh, problem as you can see uh, between Rohim and Karim, well, Rohim can do it in 10 days, Karim can do it in 15 days. That means Rohim can do much work than Karim because Rohim is more powerful. Rohim can do it in 10 days, but Karim takes a while. Uh, and that means Karim takes 15 days. But so Rohim actually is more efficient. Although Rohim and Karim both uh, work for five days, but Rohim is more efficient. That was that, that is where the money of Rohim is actually uh, gets a uh, larger. That's 300 taka, and Karim get 200 taka. That's how it actually makes sense okay that's uh, the uh, lecture and there is actually finally a homework for you and i hope you all to uh, solve this homework and thank you assalamu alaikum